is this might be an overdrive transmission. Well, that's a solenoid of some kind. This yeah. is this is yeah. a, It's like a push button overdrive. This is a f***ing overdrive transmission. Wow. Holy cool. shit! This is, is pretty rare. Yeah, these are really hard to come by. Okay. Hi, Ho, Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to TR3 Wrench Time. That is the original title of this channel and this YouTube series. This is not my dad's Triumph TR3. That one is. This body goes on that car and we're gonna drive this thing to Cars of Coffee in the springtime. So this video series is not going to end until that car goes to Cars and Coffee in Annapolis. Let's get into it. First body bolt. Let's see if that comes loose. Oh, that turned. Wow. What? You're kidding me, ref. Wow. These weren't even tight. A diagram of the, the uh, rewire of the voltage regulator, you know what I mean? Everything's highlighted, the yep. and everything. Amazing. I'm very happy to see someone else's, you know. Yeah. Like that. And I do the same thing. That's interesting. When all else fails, I've had good luck with the beeswax. Look at that. That's incredible. That, that's pretty impressive. That is impressive to see to see this. I mean, that's flat that's head just, screw. That's just yeah, right. Come out. Hand head to yeah, move it out. Yeah, know, yeah, something's yeah. Just completely. Like, when they're rusting together, you know? Yep. Like a pan head screw bolt. <clears throat> the wildest thing I've ever seen. Wow. Wow. She's hot. Yep, that turned. Okay. Yeah, this is this is amazing. So just in contrast, and I think in the video that I do for this, I'm going to show the, um, I literally had to cut every one of these, these fasteners off. Oh yeah. Like the very first one that I did, like the, the head just sheared right off yeah. of it, right? Like. <clears throat> need a small socket? I need a socket. Yeah, there is a big socket.
we, we have reached the part of this operation where we have stopped being able to take the fasteners <laughs> off by just by just, by just by just loosening them. <laughs> Last bolt holding the body to the frame of the car. We think. We think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I've done this before. A cell node of some kind. This yeah. is this is yeah. it. It's like a push button overdrive. This is a overdrive transmission. Wow. Holy cool. shit. This is, is pretty rare. Yeah, these are really hard to come by. Okay. Well, it looks like that's going to come out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Aren't you shopping right around? For, didn't you need a transmission still for your car? Um, I think that one's still that that one's good. But yeah, I, I was I was go going you to. Were, uh, you were shopping around. I was shopping car. around for a specifically an overdrive transmission, and this you is. Sure it's an overdrive. It has. Electrical connectors on it. Like, only, the only reason the, it would have an electrical connector is would be for the reverse, right? No. If that looks down. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Light. Uh, a reverse right, light. We're going for reverse. But yeah. That, that's probably just a single prong. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Know? Yep. Um, um, but these. That's weird. This. This is a ground. And then what is this? This feeds or something? <laughs> that's goofy. That is goofy. That I think is goofy. I, I may. I may recondition this transmission. Uh, I tell you what, if that's, a, if that's as rare as you say it is, man. And it's rusted to the frame. I think it's rusted together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah as I say, if we get a little jack, we might be able to jack it up a little bit and kind of go along, you know what I mean? Like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just give it, give it some, up. some pressure and some light love taps on that corner there where it's rusted and it'll. see if we can find it on the other side too. Uh, yeah, it's, I can see it right here. Can you? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we the same size half inch. It's not good by the the, the, you know? Yeah. Huh? What size there? 13 and a half. Gets finished with this other bumper in the back. Yeah. Then we th we think for the third time we think we're good. Yeah. It moves. Oh, come on, it's almost there. Got to go all the way up in there. Really genius design. Uh, you want to try our? There you go, so you got it. So we're caught, we're going to be caught on here. I don't want to go too high right now because we've got 
um, and I don't want to bend the throttle linkage. But that's that's coming up. Yeah. 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 You want to do that? Back's coming up here. Yeah, back's yeah. coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up in the back? Yep. There it is. I gave up. There it goes. Yeah, it's coming up. Yep. Yep. It has separated from the frame. Okay, the body is free of the frame. Nice. Body is free of the frame. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna we're gonna probably cut some metal and weld some metal or glue some metal. On. We some talked metal. about doing the glue thing. It's just paper mache, paper mache, putty, putty. We're just gonna putty it. <laughs>